Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up a business bank account in a live zero file. Now, when we do this, we're actually going to set up automatic bank feeds at the same time. And there's two ways that you can set up the feeds when you're opening your bank accounts. The first way is to do it when you're adding the bank account. And the second way to do it is after adding the bank account. And they're two slightly different processes and we'll have a look at both of them in this video. Okay, so we'll start off by having a look at how to set up automatic bank feeds when you're actually adding the bank account into Xero. So in this fake company that I've set up, which is a live Xero account, we're going to add a bank account in here. And there's a few different ways that you can get there. So first of all, this panel here, if we click that little drop down. You can see there that there's a button there that says connect your bank to import transactions automatically. So you can click on there to start the process if you like. Otherwise, you can actually get to it from a few different places. You can go to the chart of accounts and there's an add bank account button there. So you can press that or you can go to the main bank account screen. And once again, there's an add bank account button there. So no matter which one you press, you're going to end up going to the same screen next, which is this one. Okay, so this is the add bank account screen. So the first thing you need to do is actually search for your bank. So I'm going to hook up an Australian bank account. So I just need to search um, for the name of it in here. It's not one of these ones on the list here. So I'll just type in a few letters to search for the name. Okay, that's the one, the Great Southern Bank. So I'll just click on that. Okay, so in the next screen, you just need to put a few details in of your bank account. So you can give the account a name. So you can just call it business account, for example, if you've just got the one account, or you could have offset account or savings account or something else if you've got multiple accounts. So I'll just call this business account. And then next, you just need to put in the BSB and the account number. Okay, so I've just put in my BSB and account number and I've just had to blank a bit of information out there because it is actually a real bank account. So the last thing you need to do on this step is just choose your currency and mine's Australian dollars, so that's fine. And then next you just need to tick that checkbox if you set up batch payments. So I'll just leave that unchecked and I'll click on continue. Okay, so that's taken me to the next step in the process, which is to actually connect zero with my bank. So no matter which bank you're connecting to, you should get a similar screen to this. It won't be exactly the same as this unless you're actually connecting to the Great Southern Bank like I am. So whatever it tells you to do here, which will probably be some sort of um, username and password, just go ahead and put that in and then tick that checkbox and click on next. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. All right, and then you should be taken to a screen that looks something like this, where it's just connecting to your particular bank. And like it says here, it can actually take several minutes. So you just have to wait um, for that to finish. Okay, once you've been through that process and you get back to the main bank account screen, you might actually get a message in this section here saying that it's still connecting to your bank. And if that happens, all you need to do is just wait a bit longer and then come back and refresh this page. And eventually you will get a screen that looks like this that says it's ready to go and that you can go ahead and click on this start bank feed now button. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just click on that. And on this screen here, I just need to do a few things. So it's given me the bank account number there in zero. And now it wants me to actually match to a bank feed from the bank accounts um, within my online banking. So if I click on the drop down box, I can see the one that I want to connect to, which is this top one. So I'll just select that. And then the next one down is pretty important. You need to actually um, say from what date you want the transactions to start coming in. So if you've been using your bank account for a while, then obviously you'll have transactions going way back. Um, and you also need to make sure that whatever transactions that you're bringing in, you haven't already got those transactions in your bank account in zero somehow, like you might've manually imported them for instance, otherwise you'll end up with um, double the transactions. You'll have duplicated some transactions. So you can click on transactions starting from, or you can click on all available transactions. 
and that usually just goes back a couple of months. So I'm going to click on all available transactions and then click on OK. OK, and then I get back to this screen here, which says that it's loading my bank transactions. Now, this is a process that can take a little while. So typically you'll come back the next day and then you'll see some bank transactions in there. OK, so now let's have a look at the process that you go through to set up your automatic bank feeds after you've already added the bank account to zero. So what we need to do first is just add another bank account. Now this is a pretend account, so I'm just going to step through this quickly. So I'll just choose ANZ and then I'll give it a pretend name. Okay, and just choose everyday bank account there and I'll just give it a pretend BSB and account number, just like that. Okay, that's fine, so I'll just continue. And this time it's just taken us back to the main bank account screen right away. So it didn't take us through the process to actually hook up the bank feeds while we were adding the account to zero. So you can do it after you've added the account to zero, which is what I'm doing here. If you click on this big green button here and click on get bank feeds, zero will then step you through a process along with your bank, which will be slightly different for every bank. So you just need to follow what happens in the next couple of screens. So for the ANZ, for example, it's taken me to this screen and we just need to go to apply for your feed and there's some instructions there. Once you've read the instructions, you can just click on this link down here, activate your bank feed. And as you can see, you're taken to the ANZ website and they've got their own process there and they've got some instructions there. And like I said, each bank will be slightly different. So if you use the NAB, for example, you'll go through a different link and you'll follow a different process. But whatever the case, when you're finished with the process, back here on this screen, you will see um, a message there saying that it's hooked up and that your bank account transactions should come through soon. And typically they start coming through within a few hours or the next day. So that's it for this lesson. Now you know how to add bank accounts to your Xero file and you also know a couple of different ways to hook up the bank feeds, the automatic bank feeds, depending on how your bank actually does it in conjunction with Xero. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our Xero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.